r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What's one gender stereotype that you absolutely despise? That I can open pickle jars. Thank you for the levity in such a heavy thread. Dads that are alone with their kids are merely babysitting. Best friend is a single dad with sole custody of the child. Mom was charged with child abuse. Some of the things he has been told. The backhanded compliments. Are just wrong. And boy don't get him started on changing stations in the men's bathrooms. Men don't care about romance. Yet are simultaneously expected to provide a romantic experience. I could never understand this. Guys are stereotyped as the ones without feelings. But they are also supposed to be the ones who initiate the relationship. If you don't have feelings. You wouldn't want to be in a relationship. All women love babies. I don't dislike them and I love my offspring. But I'm really not a baby oriented person per se. I'm a woman and I find them cute but I don't want them to touch me ever. If you're a tomboy or have a strong personality. You must be gay. I was asked if I was a lesbian. Which is not offensive to me at all. Except that I know I was asked only because I expressed a strong. Perhaps unpopular opinion on a marriage related topic. People who are really close friends with someone of the opposite sex must be ducking and or dating them. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Stranger. Who I think this one is my least favorite. I'm bisexual. Am I just not allowed friends? I've been asked if my husband knows where I am who I'm with on multiple occasions when I'm hanging out with a friend of the opposite sex and he isn't there. I've been told my friendships are inappropriate whatever that means. I've had jealous partners thinking my friends must want to have sex with me because nobody would like me for any other reason. Just ugh. Men can't be sexually abused or assaulted. And the fact that if they are assaulted there is often no punishment. Especially stuff that's verbal and not physical. Feminine men are automatically gay. And masculine women are automatically lesbian. Gay man here. It's also very annoying that the stereotype of gay men is that we're all feminine. Who even came up with the idea that women faint at the sight of blood like WTF do you think happens for at least 3 days a month? 3 days? Man. I wish. Men get boners only when they're horny. No. That shit's pretty much random. I mean. Do you think I have control over this thing? If he's hard. He's just gonna be hard. If he's hard when you don't want him to be tense the muscles in your leg. It redirects the blood flow causing him to go limp. If you are angry as a woman. You are on your period. I don't get angry on my period. I hate that it's used as a defense like you're only angry at me because you're on your period. It is true that some women get angry on their period but I see it more that what you've done is still wrong but because we're on our period we have less inhibitions about telling you it. Women don't just get angry for no reason because they are on their period. They may get more angry than they would otherwise but it's not like we just get randomly angry. Bright colored. Sparkly toys are for girls. My 4 year son loves that kind of stuff. It's always marketed towards girls. And the little shithead neighbor boy is always making fun of my kid for playing with them. People think it's damaging to let him play with girl toys. I grew up surrounded by nothing but girls. Sibling. Cousins. Neighbors. All girls. I had my own boy things. Nerf guns. Ghostbusters. Ninja turtles. But when it came to playing with others. It was mostly rainbow bright and barbies. Especially before I started school and started making friends of the same sex. Let your kid play how they want. Buy him that dollar that pretty magic wand he wants so bad. It's not hurting anyone and if it brings them joy. Don't stand in the way of that. In fact get yourself a pretty magic wand too and show him there is nothing to be ashamed of for liking what you like and having fun in whatever way you see fit. Kids love to imitate adults. So playing house and looking after baby dolls is normal in both genders. My son's favorite toy for a long time was a tea set. As I drink copious amounts of tea and he wanted to do what his dad did. That all women are dying to get married and have babies. That is not the case with me. My mother blames the devil whenever I say this. That a woman who doesn't have a man is dying for one. I'm divorced and if one more person says so. 
When will you be getting a boyfriend? There will be blood. To be fair the whole blah blah get a bfgf thing happens to both genders when there's a divorce. It's by far the most annoying thing ever and the worst thing is that if you say you aren't looking for a relationship then people just assume you do one night stands every Tuesday. Like my god is it just not an option to stay single in this people's heads. That men aren't allowed to cry or feel show emotion. That stereotype has contributed to many men taking their own life and it's one we need to stop enforcing on future generations. Women with short hair automatically are gay. It just isn't right to assume sexuality due to someone's hair. Yeah my mother has short hair and isn't gay so are my grandmothers. Oh. Definitely that one where women can't abuse men. I think this stereotype is wrong for a few reasons. People underestimate a woman's ability to cause physical damage. Some women can punch quite hard and even if they can't. They can use weapons such as blunt instruments. Many women take advantage of the you don't hit women mentality of men so are able to do more damage than they would if the man fought back. So despite women being physically weaker, women can still do a lot of damage to men in the case of physical violence. Abuse does not have to be physical and even if it is. The emotional damage of it can often be worse than the physical damage. Even given the previous two points. People have the perception that men should be able to just deal with it and not be phased by it. Obviously this is wrong because men are human beings with emotions. If everyone understood these three points, people would be way more understanding of men who are abused. Clothing. I demand better pockets and more comfort. Edit. Yes I don't buy crappy pockets pants I speak with my wallet but it doesn't really make much of a difference when just one person does it. I rarely buy clothes to begin with. Thank you for brand suggestions. This will help for my next clothes buying season. D. That all women want kids. And if they don't they surely must be some kind of monster. Or there is something wrong with them. No. Some of us don't want to force our crappy genetics on someone else. Some of us just really don't like kids. Some of us are more into our careers. Or our hobbies. Or just having peace and quiet. Some of us have chronic illnesses and have a hard enough time dealing with our own daily struggle. Some of us wouldn't make good moms for whatever reason. Or any combination of any of these. That all men care about is sex. No. We don't. I don't give a single shit about sex and never have. Edit for those curious. I'm not asexual. I masturbate all the time. Also. This isn't some boo who I can't get laid so I just don't want sex thing. I've just never really had an interest in sex. Never. In my entire life. It's just not appealing to me. Edit 2 I've been told asexuals still masturbate and can feel sexual attraction. I forgive my ignorance. That being said I really doubt I'm asexual. And then there is that stupid made up statistic that so many people seem to believe about how men think about sex every 7 seconds. How would anyone get anything done like that? If a woman is irritated or angry or just feeling beachy for a million different reasons. She's PMSing. Apparently. It's not very manly to like cats. Duck that. I love those fluffy furballs. Men with no social skills who can't hold a conversation are seen as smart but socially inept. Women with no social skills are dumb and simple minded. I see that sometimes with dating. Sucks as an aspy girl. Quote my boss, I work in IT. Now we finally have some girl developers. It turns out they're just as autistic as the guys. True. And it turns out they are just as good as men too. Change the office dynamic and broke the gender stereotypes almost overnight. Good. That men shouldn't express feelings and cannot be sexually assaulted. Anyone can be assaulted. It's never acceptable. And everyone has the right to feel things and express that. It's absolutely not something to look down on someone for. If someone trusts you enough to share deep stuff. Respect that. Don't be a jerk about it. Men can't show emotions. Especially crying. Men have to come to everyone's rescue like we were made bulletproof or something. This is way more prevalent than people think. That all women love chick flicks. I hate sappy. Cliche rom-coms. And so do most of my gal friends. 
All women are bad drivers. Women can't be the bad guy. You know. Why does she put up with her husband being a dong? Well maybe it's cause she's also a dong. The idea that girlfriends are beaches cause they're reacting to their boyfriends. Not just because they're shit people. Or the idea that someone's mother will always love them and that bad behavior is something you should forgive. Even just the idea that women are bad, rude, disrespectful, whatever, because of something. In reaction to something. Whereas men just are bad by nature. A shyishness knows no gender. That girls women like pink. I absolutely hate pink. My favorite colors are greens and blues. I even banned pink from my baby showers. Both of them. And I had two girls. Yeah I'm a guy and if I tell people pink is my favorite color they will go behind my back and say oh he's gay because I heard he likes pink so annoying. Who gave genders colors? <laughs> Women need to know how to cook. Clean and keep the house organized cause what would your husband think of you if you don't? All people need to know how to cook and clean because that's what it takes to be a functional human. You need to be able to cook to feed yourself and you need to be able to clean that so that you're not a disgusting slob. That men can't be raped because they're stronger and bigger than women and that they enjoy sex no matter what. Not how it works. Erection does in fact not mean consent. Boys can't get raped. Real men don't cry. Men only love women. Men are strong. Men only have one thing in mind and it's disgusting. And more. I'm a girl BTW. Girls are weak. You are a girl so act like one. And lots more that I can't remember RN. That only men have short hair and women have long hair. The number of times people have talked about me behind my back when walking. Only for me to turn around and duck them over with my face hair is too many to number. Long hair is a pain in the ass. But every BF I've had has actively discouraged me from cutting my hair and since I actually did it while single. I haven't been on a single date. I got asked out by a girl though. And I got stopped by a woman who saw me going into the women's washroom, I'm tall. With short hair. Wearing a baggy hoodie and men's jeans, cause they fking fit. So I don't really blame her. And I wasn't insulted. But she went into and blah blah defensively about it the entire time. Which was just annoying. Say sorry and move on. You're making it awkward now. That women should always wear bras. I'm a G cup. So being braless is a blessing and I'll even wear hoodies just to get away with being braless. Meanwhile my mother will flip out at me if I take off my hoodie at the grocery store because I'm hot. She's also large chested. A double D. And I have a t-shirt on. In the same vein. That bikinis and bikini tops aren't as sexual as underwear. They're just waterproof underwear. That all men are good with cars and love driving. I don't know anything about cars. I could change a flat tire. But I couldn't do anything more complicated like changing the brake pads or installing a new stereo. If the garage tried to explain anything in detail when stuff goes wrong. They may as well be talking a foreign language. I didn't learn to drive until I was almost 30. And only because I needed to for work. I don't exactly hate it but. Given the choice. I'll let my wife drive everywhere as she does love it. People can never get their stories straight on whether or not it is okay or not for men to cry. I mean like personally I think it's only okay to cry in public if something horrific happened like you just found out your mom died or you just got shot but in private have at it regardless of reason. I think you should feel your emotions fully. That said. You need to accept that people will judge you. I'm fine with that. You do have a point about time and place. Men are providers and women are homemakers. All men cheat. That men can't have emotions that are not considered manly. R slash gooish have feelings too. Real men don't need instructions. I can't cry. Like being emotional is considered weak when we're all human at the end of the day. For men. They can't show any emotions or they will be a less of a man. For women. How we're taken less seriously in the workplace in certain industries. That men can't have a feminine side. Men are always a pursuer. As a guy who historically has had a problem reading signals from women. And also is terrified of making an unwanted move. I can relate. 
I'll date someone. But they have to pounce first. Men who like cats are gay. GTF back to 1983 with that shit. Ducking like and subscribe.